give y'all a little update on the goat barn we're building here. Um, I didn't get video of it, but it's not all that exciting. We just went through and put a whole bunch of cross bracing in. And it looks pretty rickety and pretty crappy. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not proud of it. Um, but I am proud that it's my lumber from my mill. Uh, the lumber itself is all crappy. You can see that's all, that's all wavy because my saw blades were messed up and I didn't know what I was doing. But anyway, we're getting it uh, leveled up now. So we went, we're doing the four corners first, just setting these pavers. And again, not doing anything special here. We're not doing any compaction or nothing, just pavers on dirt. So I know it's not perfect, but this is not, um, we're not building this to be a long-term permanent solution. But look at this, just from eyeballing it, <laughs> it don't get much better than that. Now I cheated because I picked the best one to show you guys. Um, over there, it says that that corner is down just a hair on that line. I think it says that this corner is down just a hair on that line. And this line here is actually pretty pretty good as well. Um, so I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Because if I put in a whole other paver over there, then it's going to jack everything up. So I might need to just go find some shims, some little you know quarter inch shims or something. And then we're going to go through and put a few more in the middle. Just for some extra bracing. Because when you walk out across it right now, it feels pretty springy and rightly so so we'll probably put like another stack of pairs piers here and then some there and then same on the opposite side and then two or three sets in the middle just to make sure that it's got good support i mean this structure the probably the max load that's ever going to be in this building if we put all the goats that we want in here and you know have a person in here and a couple sacks of feed you're talking like 1500 pounds maybe 2000 pounds spread across a 12 by 12 foundation so it's nothing as far as uh you know a, a weight issue in the in the structure itself but you know we've got the lumber and we've got the paver so we'll just use them up and and uh make sure we got a something that we're something that we're comfortable standing inside of so anyway just want to give you that little update on what i'm working on i've got my first piece of flooring just one by 12 um to get nailed down here i want to get it down tonight just as kind of like a pat on the back to myself that I'm making some progress but we are slowly making progress getting about an hour an hour and a half a day and uh, we're actually we're just doing good and then um, my daughter wanted to help with the pavers and we smashed her finger so of course she's five any amount of blood is a catastrophe so she got a little pinch and had to run to the house to get a band-aid so I'm probably shut down for the night I guess my wife's gonna be in there doctoring that and then she's gonna see that it's dinner time and yeah we're probably shut down but I'm gonna try to screw with it here a little bit longer by myself and then I'll head in the house and see what I can do to help. Little update. Okay, so that's it with the rest of the piers in. We threw one in there, and I don't know, maybe one in there from when I showed you guys, but they're kind of just randomly staggered in, um, but I think they'll work just fine. I, I walked around on it, and I don't really feel any significant bouncing, and it'll only get better. You know, I, I tried to step out in places that there weren't piers, obviously, and tried to try to look for some bounce, but once we go through and put all our decking on, and of course that's just that much more weight distribution across the whole floor so um i'm not concerned about it i'm excited about it so uh piers are in now it's time to try to find as many 1x12s as we can and i'm gonna have to saw some more and uh we'll get this floor on